Listen to this brother as he explained the experience he had with First Devil Church. And it was a, a part of one of the church that Gina had in Abaras. And he come across our video, but before things, something happened and he, he were questioned. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to make him share it. So brother, go on and just explain to everyone your experience and what you asked the bishop and how the bishop talk back to you. Mm -hmm. So the floor is yours, my brother. Okay, greetings everyone. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Um, 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 me personally, I was kind of a, well not kind of, was a big fan of Gino, you know, and when I was of the world, you know, seeing that in the Bahama Island, we didn't have um, what you call it, real preachers, like someone would preach in truth or whatever. And me, I wanted to come out to work, you know, so I went and seek God for myself. So before I even found First Church, you know, I had experience with God by myself. But, you know, in doing that, you know, also watching other sermons like Michael Todd and Billy Graham, all of them, you know, but I always saw that and felt and knew that those Gospels was weak. So I wanted a strong Gospel, something that I could truly um, um, obey, you know, because I didn't know it's more to it. And it was one day, it was one day, one morning at work, my boss was listening to, to this preacher, you know, and, you know, by the voice, and it was one of the debate videos. So right away I say, okay, yeah, this this is the type of preaching I want to hear. This is the type of preaching I want to listen to. So fast forward, you know, came to the church, whatever, you know, everything was going good. I had no issues, no nothing, you know. But I'm not a hypocrite. I put it right where right is. You know, the Bible say let everybody um, let God be true and every man a liar. Before when um in in the month of December of last year I never experienced no demon possessed no one anyone demon possessed I never witnessed it never experienced it, nothing right but watching that video watching that man still demon possessed I knew right away this man ain't demon possessed right? lame apostle Gino demon. Jennings and right then I say, wow, this is, this, 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 this can't be, you know, because I'm saying like he said, he's an apostle. And I say, if you're an apostle, then that means you should be, have, you should, God give you this power and authority to cast a demon. So there's no way that two people was possessed and they went away still possessed, you know. So I was pondering on the situation and I could tell you no lie. And I tell my testimony for the people that are out here that is in the spirit of Gino and not in the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. If I didn't have an encounter in God for myself, I would have been back into the world. If I didn't personally have an encounter with God myself, I would have been back into the world. For the sole reason, because me young, I'm, I'm 24. So, I, seeing that you want to stand up for the word of God, you want to stand up for truth, and then you know, you're saying that this preacher, uh, he preaching the truth, he preaching Bible or whatever. And when you come to find out, all that, you know, when God actually revealed to you and show you the teachings and what, when you go back on it, you look at it like, it's a fleshly gospel. This gospel, is, it, at some point, yeah, you, you know, you get rid of the, the things outwardly, you know, women with earrings, jewelry, you know, dressing mothers but after that that's it there's no more there's no more in the gospel you know when i look back after that situation and after encountering your video i see that the all that is being preached in first church is the who um who jesus is marriage in the boss um <laughs> hair covering long hair smoking partying yeah you know and while i was in the church I said, okay, yeah, those stuff good, right? But I need more. I want more. I I want to get more. I tired of, you know, these, okay, yeah. I reached that point. I understand, okay, but let's go to the more, right? So now, shortly after, um, 
I encounter your um your video. I watch it. I say this when I watch you read it, and I grab my Bible, and I say this is exactly what it is. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Because I say to myself like, there's no way that someone say um, um they demon possessed. Um, someone set free. So when he came back, when he came back on social media, <laughs> when I see, you know, I was waiting. You know, just I was waiting. He was waiting. I was waiting. I wanted to hear what he got to say because I know the minute if Gino had truly um, um, canceled them demons, they wouldn't have stopped talking about it. <laughs> they wouldn't have stopped talking about it and he would have been on live the next week. And that's, <laughs> that's all the sermons would have been about. All the sermons would have been um, surrounded by that um, demon being um, cast out. So now, after seeing Gino video, and I said, "Oh yeah, I gotta wait. I gotta see what John McGregor like. gotta say. I gotta see what he gotta say because I know the seeing right, All right?" So now I'm looking at it like if we say that Jesus Christ is gone, right? So you mean to tell me the same way we was almost there for? An hour and some trying to cast out a demon. You trying to portray to the people that's how Jesus was doing it? <laughs> that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. You trying to tell the people that my Lord and Savior struggle with casting out a demon? That don't make no sense. <laughs> it don't make no sense. So I waited. After that situation, I waited. I didn't go to the head minister nor the bishop as yet. I keep repeating back the video looking at the scripture so they don't think that okay i only just watched this video and now i can't know i try to eliminate all excuses all excuses so the minute i say yeah i say yeah it's, it's time i say it's time because this has been going on too long so now i talked to the head minister about the situation i talked to him first i told him i say if gino say he's an apostle um why he couldn't cast out a demon <laughs> right and at first the brother was saying well you know that it's not us that doing the work but it's the spirit of god in us yeah he said yeah i understand all that i get all that but one who say there is an apostle if you in a situation where demons got to be possessed and an apostle around that person we gotta be able to cast it out he got to be able to cast it out. Now, you know, at the time, I don't know how long it should be going for that. You know, <laughs> I say, okay, I, I ain't going to debate that. I ain't going to dispute that or whatever. How long? If it goes for four hours, for 24 hours, it got to come out at the end of the day. Right? So, you know, he's saying, well, um, it's the spirit of God um, that dwells in one that will cast out the demon. It's not, it's not the mind that um, cast out the demon, but it's the spirit of God in them. I say, yeah, I understand that, but if he say he have the spirit of God, why you couldn't cast it out? And he come back after that situation, come back and try to justify himself. You can't do that. He came back and justified himself. I would have gave him a pass if he would have just said, you know what, I couldn't cast out no demon, but I did this, I did that, and it was free. But you came back to justify yourself and you use Jesus? <laughs> you use Jesus to try justify what happened? That don't make no sense. So now, seeing that, I talked to him, I talked to him, and then he was saying, now you say, so now you're saying, so you're saying that, um, so Apostle Gino Jennings is not Apostle. I said, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know, because these signs follow an Apostle, and if these ain't following, what is he? Because now, if we go, if we go to church, and then you say these signs, and everyone quote. Mark 16, 17, these signs follow them that believe, and they name shall they speak in new tongues. They use that for tongues. But then now when it comes to, to cast no demon, <laughs> we, we just can take away that scripture. Like we, we can just remove that scripture. That scripture don't exist no more. You know? And I don't want people to think that this out of no this putting right where right needs to be put at. Expose them what it needs to be exposed, calling a spade for what it is. So now went to the bishop he said okay i'll give i'll talk to bishop about it because i went to the scripture and i show him the scriptures right talk to the bishop now the bishop called bishop asked bishop say 
um, I hear you have uh, a question and concern. I say, I say yes, Bishop. Um, how, how does one who say there's an apostle not be able to cast a demon? And Bishop went again, tried justifying. At first, he Bishop said, um, you don't have that right to question. <laughs> but then he catch back himself. He said, you don't have that right to question. But uh, 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 he said, uh, you still left? And he said, yes, sir. He said, okay, you don't have that. You, no, you have that right to question. But you can't question in the case of assuming that then it would lead you back into the world. It would cause you to backslide, right? So now Bishop, Bishop went and say furthermore, if God don't want that person to be demon possessed free, then that person won't be demon possessed free. If Bishop was in front of me, I wouldn't have stand for that at all. I only been in the church for a year. I only been for the church for a year. So if one who just come in, just say like if one just come in and ask that question, that's what you're gonna tell him? <laughs> that's what you're gonna tell him? You're gonna tell him that if it ain't in God's will for that person to be demon possessed free, it won't happen. That don't make no sense. <laughs> How can the person that is demon possessed um, serve God then? You mean to tell me, well, it ain't in God's will. You can tell the person demon possessed go your way. That don't make no sense. So I want to share my testimony so that others, especially yes. young people, the young people because i understand and i see comments and i read comments i see sometimes many times on your videos where people would get off gino and uh, uh, uh you always preaching about gino all up in the comments yeah people always saying that but then i look at it like okay what about td jakes he always talks about td jakes and <laughs> benny and them and all those other folks and they don't got nothing they for sure don't got nothing to do with god <laughs> they no way trying to be crafty and deceiving the people. They just mm -hmm. out there doing it plain and simple. Exactly. Out there plain. So yeah. if if we in our now because the brother the head minister to mention it, I say okay now nah, we can't do that. If we can if we say well the man ain't perfect, he gotta stop talking about others. <laughs> if that's so being the case, he gotta stop talking about others. You can't tell him when he fails or he ain't perfect. But then if TV Jakes them fail or uh, um, a bunch of people make videos and exposing them and doing all this, then you got to stop doing that for truth. Because it only showed that you was a hypocrite, you was an evil doer, and God takes no pleasure in those that do these things and abide in these things after knowing better, you know? So I go in after the young people, especially, you know, it's for everyone, but I'm talking to young people because like I say, I'm young. 24. I love God, love God wholeheartedly, 100%. Wholeheartedly, I won't go after God, go after things of God, but I won't go it in spirit and truth. So I know and understand the, the pain I felt of disbelief of what took place, the pain I felt. But I was rooted and grounded in God to not be back into the world. But then you would have others who's not really rooted and grounded. So they'd come in, see that, and then they go back. Because now they would look like, who right? Because if they would look at Gino in a matter of, well, Gino say, he's the only preacher that right. This is the only broadcast that are um, preaching the truth. And, well, if he in error, now the person looking like, well, who else to go to? <laughs> who, else to who else to follow? Who else to listen to if Gino? Because now you know the numbers. You know the numbers thing all over social media. If that's what people make it about. The numbers, the numbers. <laughs> He got this in uh, every continent, baptized this amount of people, and so forth. And that don't mean nothing. <laughs> like, when you really read scriptures, them num numbers don't mean nothing. That's why you got to look into the things of the spirit and not with the mind, not in the mind. Because even when even when we had a um, conference, right? God found it fit, because I'm telling you, I, I, be, I be honest with myself too. I be real with myself. Had Gino came to a conference in the capital of the Bahama Island, Island, which is Nassau, had Gino came there, I would have probably been defending Gino. I would have been defending Gino. But not to say like, 
I depend on him to say for more so the gospel because that's the type of person I am. If I say this one is my overseer or my pastor, just like in a natural, if you do something for me, I feel like I owe my life to you. Right? So seeing that what God did for me, I owe my life to God. So anyone that is in God, I'm defending them for the gospel, not them per se, like the wickedness they do and the evilness they do and their prophecy, not that. But if one is preaching a message and I have an understanding and know what he's preaching is true, because not all the time any, every and anyone is going to encounter Gino per se. So you as a member or a follower, you would be like, you know, this is what the scripture says, this is what the scripture says, this is what the scripture says. You know, but you're not defending the mom, but you're defending the gospel. You know, so that right there, I understand and know that. How do you care? And I saw that live in person. I might have been caught up in it. And after all this was revealed to me, shown to me, I don't even get no spirit. <laughs> I don't even get no spirit. And I, I see, I, that's why I want to have a one on one talk. I don't know what that was. Like, it was, it, the feeling do feel true. Like it, it does feel true. Like I don't know, I can't explain it, it but it does feel like you in the spirit for real. But when I look back at it, it's like the same, the spirit of God is like just no, because like you know, like you say, like pastor preaching, and all of a sudden people only get in the spirit when it feel good. You know, it never like when the message hit you hard and hit you. No one get no spirit. But the minute it, it, it making you feel good, encouraging you, all that, you know, and I understand that. And I don't, I like, I, I, I still want to learn, and you know, but I let God cleanse me back up. But that foundation that I had with them from the very beginning is still there. I say it to them, I say it before, and I say it again, I'm never leaving God. I was in the world, the things I've done, the things I experienced, I don't want to go back there, you know, and I just want to encourage others that whoever feel the same way to not lose hope and faith in God. The mind can fail you, but God will never fail you. Understand what I'm saying? The mind will fail, but God will never fail. But that's why it's very important that we read the scripture for ourselves and let us uh, see God for ourselves and seek Him daily. That way you can be rooted and grounded in God by having His word and understanding of Him. You know, and that's my short testimony right there.